So on today's episode of my new show called Taking Back Your Power, I'm going to start off the podcast with talking about a few circumstances that I've been in where I've lost control and where I felt like I needed to remove myself out of in certain situations and take back my power. About five years ago, I was in a relationship. Started off normal, we love it, that we stuff. He would be considerate. He would make me feel special to some extent, I suppose. And then about a month, so into the relationship that's when the criticism started to come first it was stuff like oh I only date girls that are like 5 foot 10 and blonde and I'm thinking like we've been getting to know each other for like a month I'm not 5 foot 10 (laughs) I don't have blonde hair and then he started making me feel more self-conscious about myself where he would just make certain comments about the way I look. Your your boobs are too, they're not as round as I would like them. And before then, I never really had a problem with my boobs and no one, none of my previous partners commented on the way my boobs were looking. And then so I kind of let that slide. And it was just uh, a few more red flags that popped up. But each time I just kept on making an excuse for him. I'm the kind of person that as soon as, or yeah, as soon as we're in a relationship, I will try and support you whatever way I can, even if that means me putting myself on the back burner. And then, yeah, as time got went on, you know, it just the insults get on coming and, you know, I stayed with him far, far, far longer than I should have. And um, so I stayed with him from the period of 2015 to 2019. And each time I kept on thinking that he would change, like, luckily, it wasn't a physical abusive relationship, but still it was mentally abusive, financially abusive, emotionally abusive. And yeah, I've been separated from this person for over two years and it's the best feeling I've ever had. I'm finally talking back my power, I finally even a few weeks ago, he tried to contact me via Facebook because he didn't have my new number. And I just told him where to go. And even when I did that, I think with some people, especially people that like to manipulate you, they always try and make you feel bad if you don't give in to what they want. And when I just said, like, I literally said to him, karma's a bitch, isn't it? Because he was telling me, oh, you know, that he recently got out of a relationship where he was being misused and so on and so on. And he wanted to meet up. And I'm like, well, no, like, there's no need for us to meet up. You know, we've been separated for over two years now. I've moved on. I'm someone new. And yeah, he didn't like the fact that I didn't give in to what he wanted. So I said to him, look, I'm not the same girl that he knew two years ago. I'm much stronger physically and mentally. 
and I'm not prepared to put up with your bullshit. So yeah, um, I just thought I would share my story about empowerment and that I'm finally taking back the control and doing things my way. So keep tuned because there's going to be more inspirational stories. Have a good day. Bye.